Amid threats of an Iranian attack on Israel, Army Radio is reporting that the Air Force is conducting exercises in Cyprus in preparation for a potential strike in Iran. In the faces of threats from Iran, U.S. President Joe Biden said Washington's commitment to Israel's security is ironclad. The president's comment came amid growing strains in U.S.-Israel ties after the airing of an interview in which Biden urged Israel to agree to a weeks-long ceasefire in Gaza. According to Bloomberg, the U.S. believes a major attack by Iran on Israel is imminent and could happen in the coming days. Citing unnamed U.S. intelligence assessments, they said it's a matter of when Tehran will attack rather than if. But it's still unclear if the attack will come from Iranian territory or one of its proxies. Iranian leader Khamenei has said that Israel must be punished for allegedly attacking an Iranian consular building in Syria's Damascus earlier this month, killing two generals among several Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps officers. Israel has confirmed killing three sons of Hamas political leader Ismail Haniyeh in a strike in the northern Gaza Strip. The three were operatives in the terror group. Two of Haniyeh's grandchildren were reportedly killed in the attack and a third was wounded. The three sons, Hazim, Amir and Mohammed, were killed after the car they were driving in was hit by a targeted airstrike in Gaza City's Shata camp. Hania is reportedly a billionaire. He lives in Qatar and has been the tough-talking face of Hamas's international diplomacy throughout the war. His family home was destroyed in an Israeli airstrike in November. The 61-year-old terror chief had 13 sons and daughters before the attack. The IDF intercepted a rocket fired from Lebanon at the northern border city of Kiryat Shmona. The incoming missile was shot down by the Iron Dome air defense system. There were no reports of damages or injuries. UN peacekeepers stationed along the border a warning that the ongoing cross-border violence between Israel and the terror group Hezbollah could dangerously escalate. A statement from UNIFIL was posted saying, there is no military solution to the current confrontation and violence. A political and diplomatic solution is the only way forward. The statement did not mention Hezbollah's violation of UN Resolution 1701, which requires that the group's armed wing not be allowed to operate in southern Lebanon. Experience the power of truth with ILTV News. If you're looking for quality content and captivating visuals, join our news community and become an integral part of our team as we embark on a mission to unveil the real Israel, dismantling the web of lies and misinformation that surround reporting on Israel. By subscribing to ILTV News, you will not only have access to the latest updates, but you will also amplify our message, creating a ripple effect that carries the truth far and wide. Subscribe today and help reshape the narrative. Available on the web, Android, and Apple.